Alright guys, uh, KK4PYN back again with you here. And I just wanted to do a real quick and dirty video. The sound's probably horrible, and as you can see the video is horrible also. Um, <laughs> but a while ago, I ordered a MP3 to C64. Um, I guess I got off eBay from Copsec, and it just came in today from Spain. Um, some rather bizarre packaging of very well packaged by the way so this kit was like uh, 20 bucks 21 dollars and if you don't know what the mp3 to c64 is basically it's a tape emulator for the Commodore 64 so that I can uh, transfer programs to my c64 since I don't have a uh, SD to IEC or anything like that yet so Anyway, it came today, I opted for the DIY option, A, because it's a little bit cheaper, and B, because I like to build kits. I've built tons and tons of kits, and you can see the circuit board here. Um, really not bright enough in here, but anyway. It's, um, it's really high quality. I've built, like I said, I've built a lot of kits, and this has got everything that you could want, and the pads are nice and big. Doesn't look like anything needs to be exotically placed or anything like that, but basically the idea is you got um, a data set port edge connector, and it's going to go on there like that, plug into the data set, and then on this chip, which is, what is this? You know, I didn't look at this in the... Seventeen GM nine TC, the Texas Instruments chip. So he's got this uh, set up, and there's only five or six other components. It comes with some resistors, um, a bicolor LED, and then a nice high quality three and a half millimeter jack and a good uh, machine pin header for the IC. That's nice. Um, Yeah, this is the higher quality type IC socket. I know that's horrible, and this webcam is not good. Uh, yep, absolutely horrible. I apologize for the video. Anyway, <clears throat> that's really not what the video is about. The kit, it's 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 a it's a well-made kit. Nothing else to that. Um, <clears throat> what really is amazing here is this. So this, what we're looking at on the screen, is the Google Share Drive um, that he emails you once you pay for the kit, um, or if you just buy it already built and configured. Uh, but it's got a folder with the games in it. Um, <sighs> yep. So I've got that downloaded somewhere. Anyway, <clears throat> he sends you a folder with a bunch of games in it, and basically, you take a um, a .tap or a .prg, I guess, and convert it to MP3, and you play it back either out of a computer or an MP3 player. I am just gonna kill this webcam, um, because it's just horrible. I'm sure the sound is horrible. I just did this real quick. I didn't even bother changing any settings or anything. Um, so yeah, you're going to load this stuff into an MP3 player, and it basically converts there's a, a converts the MP3 file into something that the Commodore data set can read, uh, the data set port serial, I suppose. Anyway, um, the thing that I really wanted to get into is this. Um, the instructions come on, open up. The instructions for building this thing are amazing. Uh, <laughs> like I said, I've built a lot of kits from a lot of different companies. Um, it even comes with the label here. 
this label that's on the uh, on the port here. So, um, what does it got? Yeah, and everything is exactly as it shows here. Um, so your line in is going to come from an MP3 player or whatever uh, cell phone. I think there's an app too where you can download and convert it. I have to look into that. Anyway, um, but I was going through here, and like I said, I've built a lot of kits, and some of them that I build, like the Nightfire kits, are not really for beginners. They give you basically all the parts, and the board's very mar well marked and laid out, but there isn't a lot of instruction as far other than the schematic, um, which is fine for me. I know how to read schematics, but the instructions that you get with this thing, holy cow. So here's our parts list. Like I said, there's really not much to it. Um, but So up here he shows you about what tools you're going to need, etc., etc. Um, here's our BOM. And this is exactly what the kit comes with. Down to pretty much the color of these is right. Um, so this is exactly what I received. The only difference? No, everything's exactly the same. So you're not left guessing about what's what. But look at this. Look at these steps for soldering. So if you're not a, a veteran, you know, kit builder or maker, um, this is one of the best non-video explanations of soldering I've ever seen. Um, <laughs> and, you know, he didn't have to do this. He'd sit down to take the time just to just for this page. Um, so that he, even if you were a beginner, you could probably get the gist of it. Between this and a couple YouTube videos, you could be soldering and in no time at all in building kits, which I just find kit building to be much more pleasurable than just buying something already built. Um, so, and here's everything laid out. How to prepare your resistors, what to look at on the, where to look for them on the, you know, the PCB. Here's something handy, what it looks like as you're building it. And it to to guys that have built a lot of stuff, or you know, it, it may be trivial, but think about the the kid that just bought a a 64 off of eBay and wanted to build one of these, or just in general, um, or even not a kid, anybody that's not really had much experience building a kit. Uh, this is great. <laughs> And the, he lays everything out so clearly. I mean, great high-res pictures. Um, shows you how to solder the edge connector on. Where? Where to bend stuff? Where to solder? <sighs> this is fantastic. So, definitely my hat goes out. My hat is... A, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Hats off to Copsec for, for this. This is a work of art as far as an instruction manual goes. I think that e anybody with even the, the most beginning skill set could sit down and uh, and put this kit together. Good beginner kit, I think. With the exception of the edge connector, which really isn't that big of a deal. This is just fantastic. So, if you're thinking about getting um, one of these kits, obviously, um, you don't get to see this until you've actually bought it. So, this is like the sneak peek, because you know, here's some troubleshooting. This is great. Now, I have not looked at the guide yet, but... Look, even gives you email if you're having problems. There's what it looks like when it's done. 
just fantastic. Um, that really deserves a round of applause. Information like this is so beneficial to anybody getting into electronics or that's just starting out with electronics um, or retro computing to have just something so clear and concise. So that's that's the best. And it comes in a couple different uh, languages there. So let's see here. I guess the usage guys in here. Yeah, that's the assembly manual. So here's the user's manual. Shows you how to load everything. That's how, what it looks like when it's in use. Like the bold print here, making sure you don't have your EQ on. Yeah, this is just great. This is what makes doing DIY stuff uh, easier. Um, I, I personally enjoy the cryptic nature of <laughs> putting together a, a a board just from the uh, schematic, but this just great. And then getting the product working. I mean, look at how detailed this stuff is. Um, granted, it's not going to look like this for me because I'm on, mm, excuse me, Linux, but close enough. This is just amazing. So he goes through and shows you how to convert the files after you get them. Um, here's the SourceForge download for that program. This is amazing. Wow. Okay, so this is everything you need to get this thing up and running step by step with screenshots. Um, oh, here we go. Ah, bomb jack. <laughs> That's great. So there you go. And there again, he's giving you a support email. Great stuff. There are some different versions. Oh, SMD. I would absolutely love to build that one. Look at this SMD version. It looks like, like homemade. Obviously, that's not a professionally made PCB, but... Look at the layout on that. That's great. Nice. I would. Re I really would like to build that. <laughs> uh, an RCA jack instead. Back in the day. And then he's got these little enclosures, which I think are fun. I'm probably just going to leave this plugged into my data set port. In fact. something deep down inside of me says I just want to embed this thing um, into the 64 and put the audio jack out the back uh, instead of just having it hanging out there. When I get my SD to IEC it's going to be embedded I think. But yeah, just great. Great stuff. So there you go. That was my rambling video um, about COPSEX MP3 to 64 to C64. I've read some stuff that it doesn't work. Um, I couldn't get it working, etc, etc. It may be picky because of some things, but uh, even... Mm, this is dating it a little bit here, Blackberry. Um, and this whole thing was all 2015 copyright on this stuff. Um, sorry if you're getting motion sickness, yeah. <clears throat> but it should work on just about anything, so. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to build this tonight. 
My bench is kind of a wreck. It's already almost 10 o'clock, but eh, I might. I was thinking about doing a live stream tomorrow of the kit building. But I think I might build it tonight and then get it working. And then if it does work, which it should, uh, maybe I'll do a live stream tomorrow of installing and using it, downloading some tap files, etc., etc. I've got an old... Holy cow, excuse me. Ooh. Horrible YouTube etiquette. Mm. It's been a long day. Um, I've got some old MP3 players to try out. I think it allows me to change bandwidth and stuff like that. I'll have to, I'll have to look at them. But anyway, uh, that's enough of me rambling. I just, I, I'm really excited about building this. I haven't built a kit in a while. I've got plenty of them sitting around here to build. I just haven't done it. So, tomorrow while I'm waiting for a phone call from my new employer, um, I'll be messing around with this, playing some games, hopefully. <sighs> I can't wait. Alright, you guys. Stay tuned. Um, I'll tweet out tomorrow what's going on with this thing and whether I'm going to do a live stream or not. I don't know. Uh, I did a live stream today just for the heck of it. And um, I might do one tomorrow. Don't know yet. All right, you guys, have a good one, 73. You know, it would be better if I said goodbye and then this thing actually popped up and let me press end. I'm sure it's my computer's way of reminding me to tell you guys to follow me on Twitter, at KK4PYN, for useful information and updates. And, um... For those of you that are following me on Patreon, thank you very much. And I'll probably leave Patreon up, but I'm I don't I'm not gonna do much with it really. Um, easy way to do it is I've got a link down below to my PayPal.me or PayPal me, however you want to call that. So if you want to throw me a couple bucks so I can continue to buy and build interesting little stuff like this, feel free. Um, any little bit helps. And. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Now I'll press.